Hi, this is our video number seven. So in our video number six, we have created the goods receipt and now we are going to analyze that goods receipt because we know that when we will perform the goods receipt, definitely there is some accounting impact is there and we will analyze those books of accounts related to accounting. First, we will see the goods receipt in our logistic system. Then we will see the accounting part. So now I'm going to switch to our PPT. So although I have explained all the accounting part earlier in our uh, video number two, quickly let me explain the accounting. So when there will be any goods receipt, so we are going to have the accounting entry. Now here two situations are there. Either after creating the purchase order, then goods receipt or like after purchasing order, there will be an invoice will be there. This is my option one. So in option one, I'm assuming that after purchase order, I process the goods receipt, then after that invoice. But there is possibility that before receiving the goods, we might also receive the invoice also. That is the second scenario, which I will add in future. So in this accounting entry will be, so what we have received, we have received the inventory. So stock account is going to debit. Who posted this accounting entry? No one. It is backend configuration. So that means consultant configured already. So that is where we are going to get this accounting entry or I configured the backend development part. So because of our FIMM integration, which is pure like in future when you will go for SAP consulting, that time you will learn this one. But right now, this is the benefit to the user. So automatically, and that is the benefit to the uh, user because of this SAP ERP. So as here someone posted the logist, uh, logistic document like goods received, automatically you will find this accounting entries will be there. So stock account is going to debit and you are going to have what will be your value. So it will be 820 because we processed 820 as our inventory cost. So your stock account is going to 820 and one corresponding GL account will be their debit and what about credit? So we are not going to credit vendor immediately. We are going to credit one clearing account, which is known as GR IR clearing account. GR IR clearing account is going to credit here. Now in this case, we are not going to have uh, uh, immediately. What will be your GR IR? GR IR, we are not going to credit entry as 8 820 rather it will be 8 because this 820 includes freight cost also so this will be also one gl account we will see that too then coming to freight clearing because freight component was there so freight clearing also one credit entry will be there and that 220 now you can see your debit and credit equally balanced so inventory inflow of stock so that we know that stock account is debited. Both are your GRIR and freight clearing. These are your clearing accounts. So right now you will find the open items there. That means this account is not at settled. So in month end, this settlement will be there or once we are going to have the invoice, then corresponding debit entries will be there. So that will be our next step. That is your vendor invoice. So right now you will find this accounting entry. So where we can see this accounting? Accounting means obviously you are going to check FI system or someone like two persons are involved here one person is going to post the gr entry another person is going to do the accounting analysis or the person who is going to be responsible for reconciliation within same ap team but another person is responsible for the reconciliation normally senior profile senior executive they are responsible for the reconciliation gr is done by one end user and super user or maybe team lead they are going to do the reconciliation they will check whether invoice received or this is also one job profile so reconciliation profile part of accounts payable so let's check that gr so this is uh, goods receipt i want to see this goods receipt so i want to see this goods receipt display and it's confirmed that goods receipt perfectly posted so there is no issue with the goods receipt now i want to see the accounting before that you should aware what are the gl accounts will be there so let me note the gl accounts so you will find these are the gl accounts which in my configuration i have included and in your case also it is con configured by the consultant and the, let's say you are responsible for the reconciliation if you check these gl accounts you will find the corresponding debit and credit entries because the document should be balanced so you, as per the accounting equal debit and equal credit should be there so that means the inventory account should be debit with 820 and these two gl accounts should have the credit entries are there and these are known as your open items. You will find the status as open because in future we are going to also proceed with the invoice. So that's why you will find the corresponding credit entries are there. Now let's go to the SAP system. So here uh, we will check the GL entry. 
FBL3N. So this is our GL report. You need to remember this one FBL3N that is for your GL report. And which account we need to check here? So we need to check account number 4002. We need to check account number here. It is there 4005 and 4006. So 4005, 4005, 4006. How we will confirm that these documents or these accounts are updated with reference to that particular GR document? That also we need to verify. So there are some old entries are there so that is why i'm selecting only current date so that it will not confuse you and execute now check your raw metal stock debited with 820 right so it is debit so how we can say it is debit for that again you have to remember the posting keys for the timing you can say this is our debit then the GR account is credit. You can see plus minus also symbols are there. We can you can easily identify. But normally we used to identify through the posting key. You need to remember this. So this 800 is credit. So GRR account credit. So this is one auto posting. This is one auto posting. I have not posted anything. And uh, then freight clearing also 20 is there. This is also auto posting. This is the benefit of ERP or this is benefit of SAP. So that means the moment we posted a logistic document automatically I got this document this finance document is posted. So without any knowledge of the finance user these documents are posted but it's not done in future also we are going to have invoice so that this accounting entry will be uh, that means debit entries will be there or the zero uh, balance would be there. So again that GRIR clearing process will be there. So GR posting one person's activity and this account analysis is another person's activity so this person the person who is responsible for reconciliation they verified that they are done and the corresponding accounting entries are posted now how i will confirm that this accounting entry is posted with reference to my previous logistic document means with reference to gr document so this is your gr document this one so with reference to if accounting document is there then we can confirm that this is my source document so check so what is the reference document purchase order this is our purchase order this is our purchase order we have created in our previous video and i want to see the complete documents so here i have posted the document like i created first i created the purchase order so in the video number fifth I created the purchase order then in video number six I created the GR this is my document so document number five eight last you can check so this is my document related to GR and with reference to this I got this accounting document this is our accounting document so inventory debited GR are credited and freight clear so now I can say successfully the accounting documents are posted not only this here one more advanced uh, uh, stuff is there and basically this is related to another team the person who are doing the inventory valuation or known as materializer it is not part of accounts payable as it is linked with this one i'm explaining but it is not part of accounts payable maybe in your ap profile this question will not be there but just i'm giving our done now inventory we want to see the inventory valuation in if you recall when i created the material master that time i have not updated any price it was zero material price was zero in video number four then I perform all the logistic activities i got this accounting update now if i will check my material price the inventory information should be there because this is my accounting i can confirm that accounting entry posted perfectly but i want to show the inventory valuations also let's check that so in another session now let's say i'm part of my uh, inventory valuation team and i want to see this inventory information inventory information related to material ledger so this is again another report these are all reports ckm3 i'm not performing any task i'm not performing any activities i'm just analyzing the information so with reference to that gr so i want to see the inventory related to 61 and as per the configuration i want to see this information so now you can see here not only the accounting entries are posted you can see information is also there so right now what is the initial price zero and as we procured so the price is updated how i got this 8.20 so total inventory price 820 including freight and what is the quantity here that is 100 so 100 units total cost 820 so what is the per unit price so per unit price is 820 so this is updated here so now right now what is the stock position 100 units we have and what is the inventory value 
820 and what is per unit price it is 820 so this is your inventory valuation as per moving average as per moving average this inventory is evaluated so this one no need to worry or no need to focus it is not part of accounts payable you will not get questions when we'll go for accounts payable profile so in our next video we are going to process the vendor invoice thank you